Installing Neural Implant Update 5.731 In progress. Do not disconnect until update is complete. Hang on. I've almost got it. Just a little longer. Once complete, neural implant needs to be restarted start into him and change changes. Got him. Hook, line, and sinker. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. I know you can hear me. I can see your brain waves reacting to my voice. Open your eyes. Wake up. I'd like to welcome you to your new reality. This is a blank canvas for you. A fresh new start. A brand new you. But I suppose introductions are in order. You may call me Ghost. I'm a hacker. One of the nastier ones, I'm afraid. And, uh, who are you? What's your name? What's wrong? You cannot remember. Are you completely sure about that? Cannot remember your own name. What about your birthday? Hmm. Drawing a complete blank. And your address? Your job? Friends and family? Nothing at all, huh? Your pulse seems to have increased quite a lot. I know this must be an uncomfortable realization right now, but it would be really bad for your implant if you were to faint now. So I need you to calm down. Breathe slowly in through your nose and out through your mouth. In and out. A few more times. Feel better. Good. I need you to listen carefully. This is important. Your memories are not lost. I have them. Safe and sound, stored away. I know more about you than you know about yourself right now. Yes, you heard that right. Your memories, your skills and knowledge, your very identity, they're all encrypted. I've locked away your whole life behind a sort of paywall, let's call it. The neural implant update you just tried to install. You remember that, right? 
shoddy work, really. The developers rushed it. Easiest hack I've done all year. Couldn't believe my own eyes when the update dropped. Yes, cruel, I know. But a hacker has to make a living somehow. I hope you don't take this personally. It's just business. You were simply the most fitting um, client I could manage to find on such short notice. We need to get along, you and I. We will spend quite a lot of time together in the upcoming weeks and months. Not that we will ever meet face to face. My name is aptly chosen. I'm a ghost in the machine. I live in digital labyrinths where the light of the law does not reach. I cannot be found. As far as the authorities are concerned, I do not even exist. My kind are urban myths at this point, nothing more. You might be tempted to seek help from medical personnel, the police, or even other hackers. Bad idea. If I were you, I would be very careful about reaching out to anyone. What will you tell them? You've lost your memory and now there's a voice in your head. You'll be committed for sure. And then what? Your memories would be lost for good. And I would be free to uh, pick another client. You cannot get away from me either. I can track you through your implant. I can read your life signs, your heartbeat, your brain waves. Removing the implant would be paramount to suicide. In fact, any attempt to tamper with it will trigger a failsafe. Your entire cognitive network would collapse. And I would argue that even your present state is a fair bit better than becoming a drooling vegetable. And if you end up dead, committed, or vegetable, ah well, a minor setback, but um, I'll bounce back. Plenty of other gullible morons out there that will download the update in the next few days or weeks. You have far more to lose than I do, so don't bother trying to resist or escape. I own you. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner we can get to work. Compliance will make your life infinitely easier. I took the liberty of um, Setting up a digital marketplace. A neat little interface in your HUD. Navigate to it. You should still know how to do that. And you'll see listings of memories and skills for sale. Want to remember your mother's face? That's fifteen hundred credits. Need to remember how to do your job, or what it even is. That will cost you far more. 
how to navigate the city you live in, how to read, how to pay your bills. Everything has a price. All your skills, even the most simple and mundane, are out of your reach unless you pay up. The prices are steep, but fair, considering that everything on sale is unique and one of a kind. Reading is probably the first one you would want to buy back, so you can read what the rest of them are. So I placed that one in the upper left corner. Oh, brighten up. I'm not completely unreasonable. You'll find that the most basic of skills and motor functions are still accessible to you. Breathing, walking, speaking, dressing yourself, those are on the house. But anything beyond that is gonna cost you. I suggest you see this as a great opportunity. You can recreate yourself, throw off old habits, gain a new perspective on everything. Your life, your career, your future. Everything is wide open now. Or you can just um, Take a good, long break from yourself. Don't wait too long, though. My prices will increase over time. Inflation and all that, you know. But isn't it nice to know that you have options of a sort? I'm giving you the chance to buy back your life, piece by piece. You're resourceful, intelligent, hard-working. I wouldn't have targeted you otherwise. You'll find a way to earn the credits, I have no doubt. Maybe through legal work, maybe through less savory means. I don't care. Just pay up, and you'll get what's yours. Here's a freebie on the house. Your name is Robin, and you were born on July 15th, 2043. Your mother's name is Margaret. And your father's name is William. They're both alive, but I will not tell you where they live. Treasure this bit of info, cause the next one won't be free. And remember, I'm always here. I'll be a voice in your head for a long time, I'm afraid. You can think of me as uh, your own personal guardian devil. And you should be glad that I'm sticking around. You'd be as helpless as a newborn without me. Well, the clock is ticking. And every second you waste is another memory slipping further out of reach. So what's it gonna be, Robin? Will you comply and start buying back your life? Or will you gamble with the little sanity I've left you? The choice is entirely up to you.